The actor Lawrence Fox was reprimanded on GB News, the home of the rejection of all things woke, for extolling the virtues of masculinity. Well, masculinity is, you know, that's another thing that these woke tards <laughs> attack relentlessly. We need strong men. And, you know, you, Vladimir Putin is proving to the world what strong men achieve. And it, mm. it's strong, you get strong bad men, but there are strong great men. And masculinity is important, and it's another thing destroyed by this, it, this society sapping wokeness. I will come back to that, obviously, but for the moment, here's some of that society sapping wokeness he was talking about from the US West Point Military Academy, which trains the future leaders of the West's biggest army. This is a teaching module from West Point. Race doesn't exist, or does it? Whiteness as race. White rage, the unspoken truth of our racial divide. Can we talk about whiteness becoming white? This is West Point, remember? Policing and crossing the boundaries of whiteness. Are Jews white? Gender, intersectionality, national indifference, and statelessness. Gender, race, and nation. Intersectionality. Mapping the margins. Intersectionality, identity politics, and violence against women of colour. The urgency of intersectionality. That last one is required listening from civil rights activist Kimberly Crenshaw. Many years ago, I began to use the term intersectionality to deal with the fact that many of our social justice problems like racism and sexism are often overlapping, creating multiple levels of social injustice. There was a challenge from the US Congress about the insanity of all that and it provoked this widely circulated response from the top of the military. But I do think it's important, actually, uh, for those of us in uniform to be open-minded and be widely read. And the United States Military Academy is a university. Uh, and it is important that we train and we understand. Uh, and I, I want to understand white rage. And I'm white. And I want to understand it. Maybe battle strategy and tactics come in the next module. Anyway, that's a tiny little bit of background to what Lawrence Fox was talking about. We need strong men. And, you know, you, Vladimir Putin is proving to the world what strong men achieve. And it, mm. it's strong, you get strong bad men, but there are strong great men. And masculinity is important, and it's another thing destroyed by this, it, this society sapping wokeness. Well, I don't think we can really be having any of that. Can we no, go for strong women as well? Just, yeah, just, surround just, I apologise for that language there, because we're not really allowed. I don't think what, we're allowed to what, say that. What did she say there? I just apologise for that language there, because we're not really allowed. I don't think what, we're allowed to what, say that. We're not really allowed to say that. What language? I'm not going to say it, but I'm not going to repeat Men. it. Men. I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to repeat it. It might be worth repeating at this point, in case the impression had been given that Lawrence Fox had been advocating for genocide, what he did actually say. We need strong men. And, you know, you, Vladimir Putin is proving to the world what strong men achieve. And it, mm. it's strong, you get strong bad men, but there are strong great men. And masculinity is important, and it's another thing destroyed by this, it, this society sapping wokeness. And quite the response to date, which would seem to need some elucidating. What language? I'm not going to say it, but I'm not going to repeat Men. It. But no, no, well, actually that as well. well <laughs> it's women. Women should be in charge. No. Women are great. I love women, but you, it, <laughs> men and women are different. And we, we are need different. to remember, we remind ourselves. Different. There's nothing wrong with being a good, yeah. good, strong man in life. Up to this point, we still don't know what the actual objection is. Maybe there will be some clarity in the closing few seconds of the clip. And nothing wrong with being a good, strong woman at either. Ooh, now, this right. is the Great British Debate. And that was it. Nothing wrong with being a strong woman. Lawrence Fox's crime wasn't to say, we need strong men. It was failing to say, in the same breath, and let's not forget, we also need strong women. Of course, as in strong women. That is a strong woman, tell me I'm wrong. This is also a strong woman. It's rather hard to unsee those images, don't you think? Particularly when you put them back to back. They have a slightly gruesome imprinting effect on the mind. But it's certainly important, as GB News solemnly reminds us, that extolling the virtues of strong women must always happen in the same breath as those of strong men, lest we fail in our inclusivity quota. GB News, the home of all things anti-woke. I apologise for that language there because we're not really allowed. I don't think what, we're allowed to what, say that.